My name is Joel Bianchi. The Harlem Knights Robotics team started in 2005. Uh, it was really an initiative started primarily by the principal saying we need to have a lot more students getting really engaged and involved in uh, math and science careers. We had kids going to liberal arts programs and for a school in Harlem we did our best uh, getting a very high over 95 percent of the kids going into college but not into math and science careers so we're getting opportunities for students to uh, get hands-on math and science. My name is Luana Polanco. Fresh Robotics is a chance for students to learn that there is more to life outside of school than just books. That you can, the hands-on activities are the best way to learn more about um, engineering in life because many students in our team want to be engineers and are planning to major in engineering in college. Since I've graduated, I've, in college I'm planning on majoring in electrical engineering with a concentration in robotics precisely because I was on the team. My name is Steven Bozak. My role on the team is I'm a programming mentor. I think FIRST Robotics, especially in this team, is it gives a chance for students to actually go pro with this sport. Um, in something like basketball or, or football, a lot of kids won't actually go pro, but with this, um, every student has the opportunity to become a professional engineer in this. My name is Kayla Loprano. I do co-mechanic stuff and I'm also on the executive committee. First Robotics is where teams all around the world get to show their math, science, technology, and engineering skills and put it to the test on a day in a competition. The First Robotics team really benefits our community because I'm a minority and I'm doing engineering. People like me would never really do engineering. If I do engineering, which I probably would, I would be the first one in my family who I've ever done engineering. My name is Julian Frost. My role on the team is the mechanical manipulator. First Robotics is a way for our young people to take the fundamental principles of engineering and learn about them. And then when they learn about them, they're able to take that lesson on with them in their lives and use it in the engineering field. I am definitely having fun because my robotics team is like my second family. So going there is like going home. As a math teacher, I thought, you know, I really want my students to see the practical real life applications and I saw that everywhere in robotics from slopes and tangents and trigonometry. But the reason why year after year um, I continue doing it is I really see what the benefit is of the students. I see kids who come in and they just get excited because they see a robot moving and then all of a sudden they start thinking about colleges or a junior and they think, hey, engineering is a path forward for me. Maybe I can be a mechanical engineer because I've been doing on the mechanics committee the whole time. Um, and then seeing them graduate, applying to engineering schools, getting into engineering schools and you know in the past couple years we started to see our first group of kids graduating from engineering schools. And so when I see, I think that all really starts with the experience they have in the, uh, the robotics team. The regionals, for me, was pandemonium. teams there and so much noise and the music and just people who were doing the same thing that I was for the past six weeks just working on something that they really loved that they took care of that there was it was practically their baby and it was just I, I loved it once I once I got in there in the Jacob Javits Center it was just it was amazing The regionals are like um, a competition where students uh, really have to think on their feet. 
really have to be prepared for anything because really anything can go wrong during regionals. Um, it also gives them a chance to um, form alliances and compete with other teams and, and, and work on something that's really much bigger than any one individual can do.